Hi, my name is Rex, and I would like to show you how to access data from the 2020 decennial census supplemental demographic and housing characteristic file, or SDHC, using a census data application program and interface, or API. Supplementing the data available in the Demographic and Housing Characteristics, or DHC, product, the SDHC tables reflect especially complex relationships between the characteristics about households and the people living in them. The SDHC data is available for the nation and the states and combines characteristics about households and people, including the total population in households, average household size by age and tenure, average family size, household and family type for people under 18 years old, and total population in households by tenure. You may be wondering about the reasons for using a Census Data API to access your data. The Census Data API is a great way to get a large amount of data quickly. Other data users find it's the best way to get data that they plan to use in applications they create. I happen to want to find data on the average household size for housing units that are either owned or rented in North Dakota to use in an application. To help me in figuring out the table that I can use to find this data, I went into data.census.gov earlier. I found a table PH8, average household size of occupied housing units by tenure, is available. Let's take a look at the API so I can show you how to get data for this table. Using your web browser, go to census.gov under the Data and Maps heading. Click on Developers. Under the Developers heading, click on the link to the Discovery tool. Then click on the format that you would like to view the Discovery tool in. For this, click on the HTML version. The Discovery tool houses all the different datasets found in the API. To locate the 2020 SDHC, click on Ctrl F and type Supplemental Demographic and Housing Characteristics file into the search bar that appears. The data set you want is the one labeled as Decennial Census Supplemental Demographic and Housing Characteristics file. To isolate the information for this data set so you don't have to worry about the other data sets found on this page, click on the API base URL found in the last column and add dot HTML to the end of it. Hit enter and you'll see that you now just have the API information for the SDHC. You first want to confirm that you will be able to pull data from the table in its entirety. When you pull data for the entire table, it's referred to us making a group call. To confirm that the table we need is available for group calls, right click on the groups link and choose open link in new tab. I can see that table PH8 is available for group calls, so now that this is confirmed, I can close the tab. Returning to the information page where I initially selected the groups link. The next step is to look at a list of example queries that are available. Right click on the examples link and choose open link and new tab. Here you can find example links for the geographies that are available with the SDHC. For this example, I want to get data for North Dakota, so I want to focus on state-level queries, which are geography level or summary level 040. The percent for equal portion of the query dictates the geography. The first query gives you data for every state in the US. You can tell that it is going to give this because it uses the wildcard, which is represented by an asterisk. Besides providing data for every state, this one can also serve a second purpose. It can help in figuring out the two-digit Federal Information Processing System, or FIPS, code that is associated with each state in the U.S. You can see an example of a FIPS code in a second query that requests data for individual states. The 06 use in this query indicates that it's for California. By using the first query to find a FIPS code for the states you need, you can quickly get a code without having to waste time hunting around. We need data for North Dakota, but I don't know off the top of my head what a state code is. 
This is the perfect opportunity to try it out the first query. Right click on the first one and choose Open Link in New Tab. When it opens, you'll see that it is listing out all the states in the US, which is the first portion of each line, labeled as NAM. This is followed by their respective FIPS code, which is the second portion of each line, labeled as STATE. Click on Ctrl F and enter North Dakota into the search box. When the match comes up, we can see that the FIPS code for North Dakota is 38. What's nice is that now we know the code we need, we can easily adjust the query to narrow things down. Navigate to the query and replace the asterisk after state with 38, then hit enter. This isolates the line of output, so North Dakota is the only thing you see. At this point, we still haven't requested any data, so our last step is to add in the table right after the get equal portion of the URL, remove name, replace it with group, open parenthesis, PHA, close parenthesis, and click enter. Let's review this line of output. The first portion is the geo ID, which is the unique geographic identifier for the given geography. The next portion is the name of the geography, North Dakota. This is followed by the individual estimated counts, as well as their respective low and high 90% credible intervals. You can find out more about the estimated counts and the low and high 90% credible intervals in the technical documentation provided in the link below. If you want to find out what each variable is, visit the variables page. The last portion is the state FIPS code which in this case is 38 for North Dakota. I hope this tutorial has helped in learning how to use Census Data API to make a group call to get data from the 2020 SDHC. For more guidance on using Census Data API, please visit our resources page at the link below. Thank you.